Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. I figure I'll give you an early update for the rest of the day because it seems like there's a trend going on. Ada is weakening, guys, and I'll show you the, the reasons why it's going to be weakening. Now, they probably still going to keep their hurricane warnings out because one just went out for southern Florida. But I will keep you updated on everything that you need to know. Now, as of 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12 Central, it is still set 65 miles per hour, 993 millibars. It is moving north to northwest at 17 miles per hour. So it is ripping quick. Matter of fact, it's getting torn up by the wind shear so much that it's actually have problems. Now here's a new update information. You can see the tropical storm watch is all the way across the eastern side of Florida, around and bend in. The yellow right here is tropical storm warning. Uh, they are expecting a hurricane by 7 a.m. on Monday. One will not happen watch past in the Keys, though. Believe that. It will be close with the winds, but it will not form up until later, and then it's predicted to die off into the Gulf. As, uh, there's one model that's showing that, uh, more intensity. I will go over that as well. But this is showing pretty true and, and trending on a lot of models. Uh, also for Cuba, you have Tropical Storm Watch in a yellow. Uh, you also have the Tropical Storm Warning in a blue. That's because as, as this system goes westward, uh, right now it is tilted. Uh, the front end is uh, weaker than the back end because the front end just got off land from being tore up and the back end is just now going and going across land so it's going to start weakening in the back just like the front did so then it's going to be pulled west and the whole time it's being pulled west the wind shear is going to make sure in the high pressure that is pushed down to the south and it's going to be rolling uh, along Cuba northern Cuba so it's going to be putting on onshore flooding from the spin of, of the cyclone and at the same time, the land is going to keep it keep it uh, weak all the way until around 7 a.m. Monday. Depends whenever it gets to this location past the Keys. Because the land will keep it uh, from weakening the, the wind shear, the, up, the, uh, the, the deep layer wind shear will be shearing it off. I'll show you that as well. Now, yay, it has changed. The rainfall amounts has changed. The oranges has gone down. Bahamas, you, have, you are predicted to see less rainfall from this from this period on and there's even less rainfall expected to be out there in the gulf so this thing is going to strengthen some but it's not going to be at all for what it what it was known to be from this morning now these are still the same the flash flood warnings are still the same so these these will st still be going over for the next day or so over florida but then it will uh sun will come back and will start shining again but you did notice right here in northern florida and southern georgia they have removed the storm surge peak. They just stretched it all the way from one to two feet all the way to Golden Beach. So it has mauled it down considerably. Now here's your probability for your tropical storm force winds. And take this to heart because after it makes its turn into the Gulf, there would not be an uh, update of tropical storm uh, force winds from what I'm showing so far. Because it's going to die off before it can even come back. Now, it will be north and east side loaded with storms, so you might get some more rain again after a day of sunshine. But you're not going to be getting a problem as far as a tropical storm coming anywhere near land. Now, this model right here, Florida Keys, please pay attention. Uh, also, you see the slight risk right here in Bahamas and southern Florida, your yellow to your greens. Here's your levels. Your yellows is 30% to 40% percent, uh, percentile for tropical storm force winds. And this is the probability for 50 knot winds. This is your probability for about 58 to 60 miles per hour winds. And who's going to be feeling the impact and how far away from the Florida Keys that the that, Actually, it goes away. You notice the intensity drops considerably once you get off the Florida Keys. So people in Miami, you look like you're in, in the, anywhere from the 20 to the 30 percent for tropical storm force winds, which which means at least 39 miles per hour wind winds. So now here's your uh, storm surge inundation. Uh, if you notice, the blue is just greater than a foot, and most of it I'm showing is right here on southern Florida. Uh, also, if you see all in, but closer to the Florida Panhandle, but down here by Homestead, uh, you have a storm surge inundation uh, probability of over a foot, and also from Cedar Key to Spring Hill have a chance for storm surge uh, inund inundation of over a foot. Now here's our system here, and it is big, but don't let it worry you too much. In my opinion, I think we went through the worst of it already, but if you look at it. 
the center is just getting shredded. It's, it's lost so much power. There's no more red. There's no more intensity. And this is going to continue to track to, to the north to northwest. So it's going to come off land some, but it's also going to move west some. So by the time it comes off and land and moves west, right where Cuba curves and it gives it a chance to reach some more waters is where it's going to pull away. So all this time is going to be holding down the, the intensity and the power of this storm. So it would just stay, if anything, a tropical storm. It's not going to be a hurricane until it passes Havana. Now here's the uh, recon as far as he got for the, for the wind rallies. And you did notice that they do have a couple uh, on these passes that do have 64 to 83 knot winds in them. Uh, all the high winds that was on eastern Florida has gone down. They've gone con down considerably down to 40 knot winds, which is way better than what you had because they had 64 hurricane force winds. It was pretty terrible. But now they have shown a few up in there, and I imagine that's why he's still leaving uh, the hurricane warning up because there's the hurricane warning now. But if you look at the aircraft reconnaissance, this kind of tells you everything. Now, if you look on the right side, you can see that this is the 10-second wind speed according to knots. Okay. Now, if, uh, every time they check a, a storm, they always check it from north to south on a storm. So on the north end, there's 60, maybe 62 knot winds. And on the south south end, there's 70 knot winds. So obviously, this storm is lopsided. It is not straight up and down, ready to get a lot of strength. And another reason, if you look here, why it's still going to stay strong and still intensify later, is because the waters, uh, I'm sorry, the temperature, so as far as the waters is getting into, is getting warmer. And as far as the precipitation that it is, it is gathering, it is getting more dew point. So it is getting more uh, mass to it. Just give it another hour or so and it's going to start getting a little better looking but it's going to be weak all the way till it goes to havana now this is all the uh, spaghetti model guidance that you have and these are all showing true this is about what it's going to do and die off whether it dies off uh closer to florida on a sharper turn or takes a later turn and dies off out here that's what has been showing even a weaker one that makes it close to, uh, as a low-end tropical storm but does also die off now we have one straggler that goes towards uh, the Yucatan, and actually I'll show that we have two, so that part is trending a little bit, and it is a little too far, especially with this storm, uh, whether we know what it's going to do past tomorrow. Now this is your uh, probability for tropical cyclones, and as far as tropical storm of uh, 34 knot winds, this is area is going to be in for the next 24 to 72 hours, but this is in congruence that it's going to be taking the, the uh, northern turn and not the southern turn towards the Yucatan more than likely, and be a tropical storm but if you notice the next day when you get to the 96 hour and 144 when it gets anywhere towards land within the next five five days it'll be strong then right after that anywhere within land within uh, 144 to 96 hours it's going to lose intensity quickly and then go down immediately to nothing it's, the storm is just going to die off fast now here's a euro. I'm showing you a euro so you can see everything. Euro seems to be on track finally. Now that it's, I guess it's getting off land. And if you notice that it is starting to meet up with wind shear, and that's what this color is, this is a deep layer of wind shear. This is the, what's guiding it from moving to the east, but at the same time it's giving them a big problem. And it has maybe a one-two punch. I'm showing dry air is giving a big problem as well. Now, if you see, the, the wind shear starts attacking it, attacking it pretty vigorously, and that's what pulls it north. But then it hits it again, and it takes all its energy away right here. This is all its energy being ripped away from it, from the wind shear, and it's left with going down to 994, and it starts picking up its speed when it gets past, because see, Havana's right around here. So right when it passes Havana, it starts picking up its speed, its power. It goes back up to the north to give it one more shot. And then it gets knocked by the uh, cold front that's coming, which is actually a big snowstorm that everybody has going on. And it will suck it up and get it up with the, uh, with the deep layer wind shear. It will tear it apart. And it will bring it to the north uh, Florida. It will bring it to a little bit of Georgia and South Carolina. But that's still a few days away. So I'll go over precipitation rates and how much y'all might be getting as far as winds and everything. Uh, probably in the morning, because that's still a few days away, If it, at least a couple. Let it go out towards the Gulf. Let's get past this first part and make sure this is true first. Uh, you know, here's another look with a precipitation type, so you can see who's getting all the rain. As you can see, central Bahamas, you're getting a lot of rainfall, 
but it will be passing in about 18 hours, and then Florida's going to be getting heavier rainfall then as well. But Bahamas will be getting better. Northern Bahamas will be getting worse. But then it clears up. 30 hours away, it clears up. You get some rain bands across northern Florida. Be aware of that. And then it heads out. You should, should see sunshine for a day, maybe a day. <laughs> and then it'll start making its way back. Pretty sunshine. And then it'll come back with some more moisture. It'll start hitting uh, western Florida as well as northern by the, the Florida Panhandle and a little bit of Georgia, maybe even Alabama, uh, before it gets smushed and pushed towards South Carolina and gives them rain as well. Now for your 10-meter winds, let's see what the damaging winds is. You can see on the top right that 40-knot winds is all I'm showing that you're going to be feeling out of this storm, and that is in the worst part of this uh, uh, storm. And right now is right now it's hitting Florida. It's doing 45 knots at the highest. That's 55-knot winds at the very highest. So, guys, it's, it's, it is weakening. It's weakening considerably. And you see it going towards landfall, weakening down to 32 knots. So, it's, 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 I think it's done. Uh, here's your total precipitation for your f next five days, Florida. As you can see, uh, way down Florida by the Florida Keys, you're going to be getting five to six inches. Uh, towards Miami, you can get up to five to six inches. Be careful as you go down uh, down the, the southeast towards Palm Beach, uh, Port Lucie. It, it's going down considerably. These numbers are way smaller than they was this morning, so I'm, I'm actually happy to see that. Now, for your precipitation right, so you can see everything and everybody nearby can see for the next five days, uh, as well as Cayman Islands. It looks like it does come back by you uh, in about 24 hours. It'll come back by you and put a little bit more rain on you, maybe another inch or two when it goes back by. Uh, now, for Jamaica, it looks like you got your worst on the eastern side. It looks like it's probably from some rain bands. And also, when it comes and hits everybody in a few days, I will update that. Now, here's a simulated satellite so you can see exactly what happens to this thing. It gets sucked up, as you can see, with the dry air. It gets moving on in with it. And this, this is a, a, a very good look at it. This is the upper level winds. And when you see it start tying around, it gets blocked. It gets blocked by some extremely dry air, and it cannot, cannot go no further south or southwest. That would be the only reason why I say uh, uh, Yucatan Peninsula, Cancun area, that this will not be a storm going towards you because it looks like it, it gets blocked very strongly. Matter of fact, it starts going around it and then and closing it, and then it chokes it out, kind of like puts it in a headlock while his big brother comes and knocks it out to the ocean. So that's what it looks like to me. I mean, some models are showing it will go down there. I'll update you on that. Now, if you remember, I'm still showing that we still have that next tropical cyclone coming sometime around the 16th to the 20th. I mean, I know it's been a, a couple weeks, <laughs> but trust me, it will be coming, as well as the one that I showed you is either last night or this morning, that we also got to one uh, almost mid-December mid as well. So be aware of that. Now, the GFS shows the same thing. It will be a weak tropical, uh, tropical storm. It will do a little bit of strengthening out there in the Gulf down to, down to 989, but then it will get weakened and die off, and it won't even go over land and give nobody no flood and rain. But it is starting to pick up on this model now. This is the first time a different model besides the GE, uh, GEFS that has picked up this next tropical cyclone. And it's shown that it could be a problem as far as 947 millibars for the Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. So please be aware. Also Honduras and Guatemala on the coast. Y'all just got finished with problems and more rain could be on the way. Now, Gulf of Mexico, this is for your UK Met. I just want to show y'all that it does show that it does intensify some. Uh, the UK Met shows it goes down to 988. But UK, UK Met also uh, shows that after it intensifies, that it also it goes towards Yucatan Peninsula uh, and the, uh, the Cancun area. Now, if you go to the Korean KMA, and you check and see what this one says. This one also is congruent with all the other models. There will be some intensification once it passes the Keys, but then it will curve back towards the Yucatan Peninsula uh, and do some kind of damage of possibility. It's just a possibility now. Now, we still show all the models are showing a little bit weaker. We still show one can get up to a Cat 2 while it's out in the Gulf. One shows a Cat 1, but the rest of them has actually gone down to tropical storm it was all around even to a cat one hurricane it is all now down to tropical storm we had the h uh, wharf that went 
crazy off the wall, almost to a Cat 4, uh, high-end Cat 3. Matter of fact, this is it here. It gets down all the way to a 955, and then it actually shows it comes back towards Florida, and then you really can't see too much more. Uh, that's about it, I believe, 972, 984, and it looks like it does a little bit of a turn, and that's it. That's the last shot we got of her. I do have some live feeds of, of some streams of Florida, so if y'all want to watch it, open up multiple tabs. That's what I do usually when I watch live streamers. Uh, but this one is over the, uh, I got Florida Keys, I got uh, 24th Hotel. I got a bunch of places for you to see, so if you want to see what's going on with the effects of this storm, I have all the live shots for you. Uh, links in the description below the title, just click on any one that you want. Also, my wife here, she also covers these live streams. This is what she does for a living, y'all. She, she is severe weather live. So do me a favor. Go show some love to her. Also, I'll put I'll, uh, I'll pin her, her, her live stream to the comments, y'all. And go check her out. Give her some love. She, she's up day and night for you guys. She loves you as well. Now, let me give you a little encouragement because I believe that these storms are going to weaken. And there won't be no much more after this. It's going to strengthen. It's going to be some problems for Cuba. I admit that. I'm sorry, Cuba. God bless you, man. And, but I will, I will update on what impacts may be when it passes the keys. But to everybody, if, you, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I'm not going nowhere. This is what I do until God takes me to heaven and my day done. This is how I support my family. So God bless you. Welcome to the community. If you did subscribe, I do appreciate you. And like that button, if I didn't if I didn't do anything that you liked in this video, it had helped you. Please hit that like button. Let, let YouTube know that it is good information in this video. Okay, God bless. Psalms 11. And the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doeth behold the upright. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you all have a, a good rest of y'all evening. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. God bless you. And start to work tomorrow. Hope you have a great day at work tomorrow or if you're going to school because I feel like everything's going to start getting better. Sunshine will be coming back soon. Just relax, hold tight, put sandbags down. Uh, if, if you need to put them on your doors, I, me, I suggest putting like a trash bag underneath them so it'll seal it with a little plastic uh, layer. That, that, that would really help out. But I, I just want to let y'all know that I, I do appreciate y'all. I mean, y'all been with me for a while now, and we've grown in a matter of eight weeks to over 16,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. God bless you greatly. I hope he does bless you just as much as he's been blessing me. I feel that in the heart. But always when you're, when you're worried about a tropical storm, guys, or anything like that, always prepare for like the next cat hire, okay? So still prepare for this. Maybe a cat one hurricane. Don't totally let go. But I show things will be okay. So I hope you got your receipts. <laughs> and I hope you have a blessed day. All glory does go to God. Amen.